In the previous video in this series, I cleaned up the imperfections in one of the intersection regions. In this video, I'll continue cleaning up imperfections in the model to prepare it to be hex meshed. There are some fillets on the plate surrounding the blade. When I decomposed the model, I sliced these fillets in half, but now I need to merge them with the adjacent faces on the plate. Doing so will help me to get a good quality hex mesh. The blade also has a couple of fillets, so I need to merge them with the adjacent faces. Now I can clean up the fillets on the intersection region. There's a split on this face, so I'll merge the two faces into one. The faces were merged, but the edges on the bottom of the face are split. I'll insert a virtual cell to remove the split. There's another edge split on this side of the body. I'll insert a virtual cell to remove it. If I show sweepable bodies, I see that this intersection region is still not sweepable, even though I've addressed all of the issues I could find. This indicates that there are one or more small edges and close vertices that are just too small to see. I expected this issue because when I sliced the model during the decomposition, I observed that some edges would likely get split into very small segments due to tolerance issues with the geometry. I can identify any small segments by looking for close vertices. There are two instances of close vertices. I'll inspect this area more closely to determine the cause of the issue. What appear to be just one vertex is actually two vertices very close together. There's also a superfluous edge. To remove the extra edge and vertex, I'll merge the two faces. Now I'll show all bodies, and then show all sweepable bodies. I see that the intersection region is now sweepable. The blade and the plate are not sweepable, even after cleaning up the fillets. I'll need to use the multi-zone method to mesh them. This concludes part 3 of this video series. In part 4, I'll mesh the model using sweep and multi-zone methods.